What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. The plant behind me has died. It's a very sad day. But today is going to be a good one because I'm actually going to chat through my updated workout split. So how I'm currently training. Now this video has been requested so so many times since I've been talking over the last two months about how my training split has changed and how I've just been training a little differently. So I'm really excited to finally sit down and actually chat to you guys about what has been going on and have actually been training. I wanted to make sure that I gave it a good couple of months to actually see how I felt training that way properly over a longer period of time rather than just rushing straight in there week one or two with the down low when there wouldn't be much to say. So if you didn't already know, I was previously training in quite a classic upper lower split. So I was doing upper days and I was doing lower days. I was doing two upper body days and three lower body days. That was roughly my split, give or take a little tweaks for I would say the last 18 months or so. That sounds like a long time, but I think that's right. I kind of reached the point towards the end of last year where I was just like, hey, I just wanna mix things up a bit. I just wanna mix things up and see how I go, see how things feel. And I definitely know, I don't have to tell you guys that you don't need to mix up your training routine. You don't need to be shocking your body with different workouts and different exercises every day, every week. But equally, mixing up your training block if you've been doing the same one for a considerable length of time is totally okay and all you can do is give it a go and see how you respond. A lot of the training principles, of course, are exactly the same. You're just rejigging the week slightly and how you do those exercises and how you put it all together. So I've now shifted to doing five, that's 10, five full body sessions a week. So instead of splitting my days up in upper and lower, I am doing upper and lower in the same day. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's kicked my bum, like kicked it hard. But at the same time, it has been so, so so good. Now, I just wanna say that I still have so much love for an upper lower split. That's obviously pretty much what I did the entire time I've been through this transformation. So I still have so much love for it and I think it is an absolutely incredible, incredible training split but it was just time to try something else. It was just time to mix things up a little bit. So in terms of the workouts themselves, they still follow the same kind of principles. So I'm still always hitting my compound lifts at the beginning of the session. One to two lifts, that would be like my squats, my hip thrust, my military press, my bench press, those big bad boy exercises that are absolutely brutal. And then moving into my isolation and accessory work. The only difference of course is that I am doing both upper and lower rather than just upper or just lower. Each workout has a push, a pull, and a legs exercise, and it kind of alternates between those. It means you can get more volume in per body part per week because you're splitting it out across the week. You're splitting it out across those five days rather than having to cram it all into one or two days. That also allows you to recover a bit better with the volume because, oh, hello. What's the matter? What's your training split? Five times ball throws. So yeah, it also allows you to recover a little bit better because you're splitting that volume out across the five days rather than cramming it into just one day or just two days. And with that, it allows you to train heavier, more regularly. So I found that it's definitely helped my strength and my recovery. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what has been going on. Cardio wise, I have still been doing just my normal dog walking, which I absolutely love and hitting roughly a step goal of around 10K steps a day. Lots of people always ask me how should you train or how should you split, split your weeks up? And I think it is totally dependent on you and how you enjoy training and how you feel your best training. If you're sticking to those same principles of progressive overload, focusing on your compound lift, all of that stuff, getting the right volume in throughout the week and hitting your full body, then I think how you then split that week up is totally dependent on how it feels best for you. I think if I was going to bring something out, which was more of a training plan, which you guys could follow, I would still go with an upper lower split just as the most solid way to kind of get you started and progress, I guess. But I would be tempted to throw a little bonus for body workout in there at some point in the week. But I'm not saying any more about that. I'm not saying any more about that right now. Now, what I thought I would do is take you to the gym and just take you through one of the sessions, show you what actually goes down in a full body session. Should we do that? Are you coming? Hmm? 
Okay, so I'm gonna grab a quick snack for the road before I take you guys to the gym because I don't know what it is, but I am just not about that snack-free life. I have to have a snack with me at all times in case of emergency, in case of getting hangry. This cupboard is literally goals right now. Look at all this. So I'm gonna grab one of these My Protein Lean cookies. They are white chocolate and cranberry flavor and they are so yummy. I feel like I've had one pretty much every day this week. The macros are super good. So they're 194 calories, three grams of fat, 16 grams of carb, and 25 grams of protein. So a very yummy, good macro snack. So I'm gonna take this with me pop it in my car or maybe in my gym bag and then it will just be there for the drive home to tie me over to lunch. I know I've already announced this on Instagram but I don't think I've actually told you guys it yet but I am now actually officially working with my protein which is super exciting. I've been a big fan of their products for a long time so it's really exciting to be working with them. So I do have a discount code that you can use. The code is EMPOWER. That will give you 37% off. I'll also link down below the link to the My Protein site where you can check out all the good stuff that they've got. Definitely keep an eye on my Instagram too because I've been posting little reviews of stuff that I've been trying. I tried the pre-workout for the first time the other day and whoa, that is all I'm saying. So yeah, this will be an ongoing paid partnership which I am so excited about. Make sure you check out the link below, have a shop, let me know any questions about any products or stuff because I know it can be a little bit daunting sometimes knowing like where to start and stuff. But yeah. I'm gonna grab this cookie, we're gonna to go to the gym, we're gonna show you this workout, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna have to talk over this audio here because the background music from the gym is so ridiculously loud. But basically I'm telling you that I'm starting with box squats and I have set the box up at this angle because it is so much easier to step back onto than when the box is straight. So I'm gonna be doing three sets of six to eight reps and this is my first exercise.
Okay, the audio was super loud here again. So I'm basically just telling you that I am gonna be doing some banded hip thrust. I'm using a heavy strength resistance band and I'm gonna be doing three sets of 10 here. Okay, last but not least, we have Nordic hamstring curls. These are a bit of a faff to set up, I'm not gonna lie, but they are such a banging exercise. So you can see that I have loaded the bar. I've actually got double my body weight on this bar to make sure it can support my load. I've then used my barbell pad to protect my ankles, a mat under my knees, and I've also wedged a weight plate behind those um, plates on the bar to stop the bar from moving. And you can see how I'm then moving through the reps. So I am using my hands to help me back up. This isn't technically a full Nordic hamstring curl because you would be able to go all the way up and all the way down without any assistance, but obviously that is ridiculously hard. So you can see how I've slightly modified these to be able to do them, but they are such an incredible hamstring exercise. Okay, back in my car, ready to head home. Hopefully that was enjoyable to see an actual snippet of a training session and what one of my workouts in the week looks like. I didn't use working weights on the compounds because I thought it was better to just show you rather than try and be like training heavy on those sets while I was filming. So they were kind of like warm up weights, but hopefully it was interesting and hopefully you've enjoyed seeing a bit more about my current workout routine and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna head home please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to come and say hey on Instagram because I share stuff there every single day. Workouts, recipes, general chats, snippets of Toby being cute, you name it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.